Hello. Uh, hello, is this Robert Chandler? Yes. Hello? Who is this? Oh, hi, hi, Mr. Chandler. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Matthew Nobles. I think you just tried to call me back. I left you a message. Yes, what, what's your problem? Well, um, actually, um, I wanted to talk to you about something. Um, I'm an employee at the game place. Uh, I apologize for calling you so long after the incident occurred, but uh, given your son's continued harassment of our store, I felt we needed the, to the speak to you. Place now. Uh, the game this, place? This place downtown by the Omni? Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. Well, well what, 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 what's the problem? Well, um, I'm sure you're aware of uh, the little incident your son, uh, Christian, had when he came to our store um, early in June. Um, I didn't know he'd when he to attempted store to get early in June. I knew he. Oh, you were unaware. He, I knew that he uh, had some a lot of problems with you people several years ago. Well, when you what happened was kicked him um, out and everything else for no reason of his own, and his mother, well, and everybody else. I don't really like your place. Now, what's going? I didn't know he'd been there in June. Now, tell me about this. Well, basically, what happened was he came in. He wanted to speak to our manager, Mike, about getting himself unbanned. Uh, Mike well, refused I think that's to speak with him about Mike the matter. That threw him out. Mike's been persecuting him for years, and I don't like Mike. I'd like to speak to the owner of the place. I think lives up here, up the road from me, in Madison or somewhere. This whole thing well, was a sir, the setup point is in that the very beginning with my son. Now I don't didn't like it, sir. Then, I, and I still don't like it. Now what happened in June, sir? Well, after he left, uh, when he couldn't get himself unbanned, he came back several days later and was taking pictures of people in the store. Well, that's not uh, illegal. One of the patrons, he, some people felt that he was threatening them, to be honest. Uh, one woman said that she, he was taking pictures of her son. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, Mike was there, and he became angry and called the police because your son was trespassing. Well, he hadn't told him and, he didn't come in there. It's a business place. Now, Mike and Megan are the ones that conspired together with a couple of other people, kids there, I think were gay, to persecute and torment Christian for years. Okay, I don't like Mike. I'd like to talk to the owner of the store. I could really feel him about the people he employs there. Okay, I could tell sir, him a lot. Well, regardless of that, sir, I don't know about any of that. All I know is well, that your son was Well, regardless of that, that all figures trespass. into this stuff. That all well, figures into this true. stuff. It certainly shouldn't. But certainly I just is. called to... It should. It certainly should. Sir, I called to inform you. I called to inform you that even though the police came and made your son sign a trespassing notice, that he continued to harass our store online. That's what well, I called to inform you. Is, I, people are harassing him from all over the world. Let me tell you something, fella. You know what some damn crazy fools that I think started at your store with Megan and Mike and two or three more? You know what they just did a week ago? They just broke into his checking account, got his checking account numbers and routing numbers. They, they broke into his Best Buy MasterCard number, and they stole his ID and, and all of his uh, password information. They went into that Best Buy checking account trying to ruin his credit and made a payoff on a check that had no funds in the checking account, which got him a whole bunch of... Of, of non-sufficient fund fees. Now, this all transpired a week ago. Now, I'm not going to listen to your petty stuff, okay? You have people, including Mike, and I could tell you two more names, but I can't think of them right now, but the third one is Megan, and I'm sure you've heard of Megan or know Megan right there in the store. I've heard about Megan. Yeah, Sir, well, I don't understand They're the you're people that are terrorizing Christian. Now. They're the people that are terrorizing Christian, okay? This really has nothing to do with the game place, sir. I just called to it inform you about your It has to do with the game place because that's the place. Well, you're from the game place, right? Sir, the game place didn't break into his bank accounts. I don't know why you're telling me about it's, this. Well, we think that people that come to your place do. 
and including one of your employees well, named we Mike. We don't control all our customers. Including one of your we employees don't. named Mike. Now, if you would like to have well, me talk to your owner, I would be glad to, and my wife would be glad to go to a meeting with him about your place and how it's corrupting the whole neighborhood. I kind I of doubt that Bill. Mike himself is the guy who broke into your son's account. I kind no, of doubt that, sir. I just called to inform that you that your son trespassed. Sir, your son was banned from the store and... Fine, send he us a letter. And send us a letter. Send me a letter, sir. Okay? I don't know who you are. Uh, do you work for the Well, store? I know that I overheard that the police, when he was talking to the police, I overheard him say that he was very adamant that he didn't want you to be told about this. Well, he wanted his, do you work for said the something store? about his counselor. Yes, do I do. Do you sir. work for the store? Can you answer I just the said question? that I do, sir. I beg your pardon? Uh, what question, sir? Do you I, I work your for question, the sir. game place? I just answered that, sir. No, you didn't. Do you work for the game place? I said, yes, I do, sir. I answered that three times in a row. Okay. What is your position at the game place? I'm an employee there, sir. I'm a supervisor. You're a supervisor. Now, what does that exactly mean? Does that mean you're a shift manager? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. Now, will you tell me the owner's name, or do I have to subpoena it? Sir, look, I'm honestly, I'm getting a little tired of this, sir. I just called to inform you that your son uh, trespassed. Well, sir, I'm getting a little us. tired of your place, okay? I don't want to be harassed by Fair your enough. place. You uh, we don't like your son harassing us. message on the thing to start what? with. Sir, I, I left a message telephone. saying I had a sensitive matter to discuss with you. How was yeah, that threatening? It was your, your tone of voice and attitude. Sir, okay. I didn't have an attitude. I was perfectly polite. Oh, no, no, you weren't. How do you spell I your I don't last know how to name? disagree with that, sir. How do you spell your last Nobles name? Nobles and O. Sir, this isn't threatening. I feel that it was irresponsible of us not to inform Christian's parents. That's what I called to inform you about his trespassing. Well, just wait a minute. Now. He wanted us to talk to his counselor when was instead. When he told N-O-B-E-L or N-O-B-L-E? I wasn't there the initial time years ago when he was banned, sir. Well, All I know is I was there. N-O-B-E-L uh, or N-O-B-L-E? Sir. Sir, how do you I'm, spell your last name? I really don't simple, feel like answering these questions, sir. You can, you can You're answer giving a me the third degree question. for no reason. Well, you, you told me your name. Now, how do you spell it? You've been yelling at me this entire time, sir. I don't feel like, frankly, giving you, you my name. Just spell again. your name, and I won't yell at you. That's a rather silly requirement, sir. He's not yelling I'm at you. I'm just trying to talk. I left you up. Spell your last he name. He has been yelling. Spell your last name. Hey, who are you? I've already given my name. I'm you have not? What is your first name? Matthew. Noble is his last name. I don't know how he spells it. Matthew Noble. N-O-B-E-L. What's your phone number? 202 5892. That's a weird number. Okay, now, what is it that you want? Because it sounds like uh, you're you're looking to try to uh, um, uh, harass us and get something out of us, and we don't want nothing to do with you. Because you just because you th I don't know whether you work at the game play, 